Hi everyone. We are creative beings. We all can fully express ourselves in creative words. But unfortunately, sometimes we get blocked. Our inner voice doesn't come out. This experience is really painful. We call it writer's block. However, there are some excellent books that help us unblock ourselves. Today, we will have a short review of one such book. The book's title is Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear. So friends, stay tuned. Big Magic Elizabeth Gilbert is an American journalist and author. She is known for her international bestseller Eat, Pray, Love. The book was adapted into a movie in 2010 where Julia Robert plays the central role. Her Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear is an inspiring classic on creativity. In this book, she deals with the entire process of creativity with all its challenges and prospects. In this presentation, we will try to highlight some of the crucial insights from the book. We are confident that these insights will motivate both aspiring and seasoned artists to delve deep into their artistic pursuits. These are the four insights. Let's begin with the first. The first thing is fear. Any writer or artist knows fear very well. He may be a seasoned writer or just a beginner. Fear will always be lurking in his mind. He may have a fear of rejection by the publishers. He may also be worried that the readers and critics will not warmly receive his work. Finally, he may be disturbed so much by these preconceived ideas that he will have to stop writing or quit other creative projects. Elizabeth Gilbert wisely remarks that fear is inevitable to all sensitive artists. Instead of the idea of overcoming fear, she feels that it is better to have a little bit of fear while working on a creative project. Such fear will make us more disciplined and careful at work. But we must learn to let fear coexist with our passion. Fear will not leave unless you write because if we don't write, how can you know whether your article is accepted or rejected by the publishers? Fear will not vanish until you publish your book because without publishing your work, how can you know the response of the readers and critics as well? So, being artist, we will have to face fear. The second insight is permission. We must permit ourselves to write. Our problem is that we always keep running after the idea of perfection. We want to write a perfect story or a poem. We want to draw the perfect picture or sing a song with perfection. Unfortunately, many potential writers and artists just dreaming about perfection cease to produce creative works. Elizabeth Gilbert reminds us that we all are creative beings. We must understand that whatever we hear from inside regarding our imperfection or flaws are only the opinions, not the truth. So, we must let ourselves write without imposing any restrictions. 
We must permit ourselves to express our inner thoughts without being bothered by the idea of perfection. We must never forget that we should write for and about ourselves. Instead of thinking about perfection, we must focus on persistence. The third insight is inspiration. According to Elizabeth Gilbert, ideas are living bodies like animals, plants, birds. They keep on moving around us or we are surrounded by ideas. Then all of a sudden an idea in the form of an image appears and uh, glitters in our minds. So we have to be very attentive. We must have an observing eye to capture the image. If we delay, the idea will disappear within a minute. It is not static. It will soon knock on the door of another individual's mind. So we should not procrastinate. Whenever an idea enters our mind, we must try to shape it in words. Otherwise, we will lose ownership of that idea. The final insight is about the financial aspect of creative art. By and large, we all have a concept about a full-time writer. We believe that those who create a monumental works are full-time writers or artists. As a result, we tend to romanticize those writers thinking about their enormous time and freedom. But life is not always that easy. It is erroneous to expect our creative works to meet all our needs. We will not be able to produce any work of merit if we are constantly under the stress of the financial crisis. So Gilbert suggests keeping a job to control our financial condition. Time, however, is only a mental phenomenon. If we genuinely intend to be a writer or an artist, we will block some amount of time in our daily routine to indulge in writing or any creative work. So that's what I have got for you today guys. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Your feedback inspires me to create more videos like this and improve them. So don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you.